Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag. Het is het bulletin van zaterdag. As in every weekend, our bulletin today is in English. We will have Morse code today and an SSTV image in PD90. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the bulletin on the RSGB's own website. Now, the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. We got the HF prediction half right last week. We forecast the unsettled geomagnetic conditions that struck us on Tuesday, but Noah got the weak solar flux index prediction totally wrong. Prior to last Friday, the sun had been almost completely spotless, but a new crop of sunspots broke out, pumping the SFI from the mid-70s to the high 90s. This was enough to wake up the higher HF bands, with DX working uh, being available at times on 15 and and 10 metres during the IARU HF World Championship last weekend. Looking forward, Sunspot 2565 looks well established and should help keep the SFI higher. The US Air Force predicts the SFI will start the week at about 92 and tail off to 77 by Friday. If that is the case, HFDX might be more easily workable this weekend and earlier in the week. Solar flare activity from Sunspot 2565 may be possible and could lead to relatively short-lived HF disruptions at times. Geomagnetic conditions are predicted to be reasonably settled early in the week, with perhaps more unsettled conditions sometime between Tuesday and Thursday due to solar coronal hole activity. Sporadic E activity could also bring short skip conditions from 20 to 10 metres at times, but more of that later. <coughs> On to VHF and up propagation news. July is still in the midst of the sporadic E season, so that's probably the best exotic mode to seek out again during the current week. Look during late morning and early evening to save wasted effort whilst checking beacons and clusters for a heads up on what's happening. The RSGB forum propagation section contains a daily blog on the location of jet streams which might be instrumental in forming sporadic E. This could give an early indication of prospects and which direction might be best. There's still a little time before the season ends to get a few more locator squares in the log. The prospects for tropospheric propagation are a little above average at first, with high pressure nearby over southern Britain this weekend, but expect it to decline early in the week. Tropo paths in summer tend to favour sea paths and any paths over land are best overnight or just after dawn, when heating will break down any inversion. Once the high breaks down, the more unsettled weather pattern will give options for some rain scatter on the gigahertz band from midweek onwards. The moon is at its lowest declination today and losses are high all week, so the moon will be low in the sky and only visible for a few hours. And that's all for this week from the Propagation team. The construction of the Codebreakers wall surrounding Hut 8 at Bletchley Park has been finished. The wall is a recreation of the original wartime blast wall. You can sponsor a brick to be engraved with the name of a veteran, with your name or in memory of a loved one. The Codebreakers wall will be a memorial that will last for generations at Bletchley Park, and the money raised will help to complete the transformation of this historic place. Go to www.bletchleypark.org.uk and click on Support Us. The National Ham Fest takes place at the Newark Showground in Nottinghamshire on the 30th of September and the 1st of October. This year the flea market has been redesigned, providing low-cost table space for selling your personal excess equipment and junk. If you do not wish to sell items yourself, then the, the large bring-and-buy stand will look after the sale for a small commission. It will be open from 09.30 each day, located in the marquee immediately outside the George Stevenson Hall. For fast-track entrance tickets or flea market bookings, please visit www.nationalhamfest.org.uk. The German National Society, DARC, has reported that Thilo Kut, DL9KCE, has been elected as chair of the CISPR Stroke H Committee. CISPR is the International Special Committee on Radio Interference. The RSGB board chairman, Steve Hartley, G0FUW, will address the AMSET UK International Space Colloquium at the Holiday in Guildford on the 31st of July. He'll be giving an insight into the RSGB support, 
given to the schools involved in the Principia Aris contacts and how the Society plans to build on those successes. He'll also outline the Schools Link project, which aims to show schools how they can use amateur radio to deliver core science in a practical way to enrich the learning experience and in the process hopefully generate some new radio amateurs and perhaps radio communication engineers. More details, http two dots two slash as amsat hyphen uk dot org. Youngsters on the Air 2016 is taking place in Austria all next week. Over 100 youngsters from 30 IARU member societies, including a team from the USA, will be having a lot of fun with amateur radio. There will be many workshops optimising their skills in electronics and contesting, and well, as well as making new international friends. On Monday at 10.25 UTC, there will even be a telebridge Aris contact with astronaut Jeff Williams, KD5TVQ. OE2 Yota will be on the air on most bands in several modes, so give these young people a call. Special event news now. Today the 17th, Lawton and Epping Forest Amateur Radio Society is operating GB100 NWA from Northweald Airfield Community Day, celebrating the airfield's 100th anniversary. Also on the 17th, Pontefract and District ARS will be operating GB1 AVR from Ackworth Steam Spectacular and Vintage Vehicles event. A special event station will be on the air for Skiffy's, Skiffy World, the rowing radio. Sorry, the, the World Rowing Championships between the 24th and 30th of July. They'll be operating from Delamont Country Park in Downpatrick Road, Killilee, County Down, BT 39TZ. Wearside Electronics and Amateur Radio Society will be operating from the Lifeguard Station, Marine Walk Roker in Sunderland on Saturday the 23rd and Sunday the 24th of July for the Sunderland International Air Show. Operations will be on HF, VHF and UHF using the call sign GB4SAS. Everybody's welcome. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. In the early hours after the tsunami, it was ham radio that was on the air, saving lives. When Florida was ripped by hurricanes, the hams were there. In the critical moments after the attack of 9-11, it was the hams who coordinated emergency messages. When disasters strike, the hams are ready. Ham radio works when other communications don't. 
Als er een natuurramp gebeurt, vertrouw jij dan je leven toe aan het feit dat mobiele telefoons en internetverbindingen nog werken? Vertrouw je daar het leven van je gezinsleden aan toe? Ik dacht het niet. Amateurradio, communicatie die altijd blijft werken.